Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So you saw our first video where we talked about the major issues that our barn has. We also talked about how Morton is gonna be doing our contracting job on our barn and we have made so much progress. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an update on our barn renovations and you'll get to see everything we've done up until today. So I'm gonna take you back to day one. You saw the materials being delivered and you're gonna get to see the progression over the last few weeks. This is Penelope. <laughs> the Morton building crew and all of the materials are officially here and it is time to start this major barn renovation project. So as you saw in our last video, all of the materials were delivered. And today is more about planning and just organizing in general. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this process is gonna go over the next few weeks. It's gonna be awesome. And I know it's just gonna look amazing. Like I said in my previous video, we're gonna be doing all new metal, new doors, all the splashboard is gonna be replaced. We're also using perma columns to fix all of the rotted posts. And I'll be showing this to you in detail while the crew works on it. This is a huge project, okay? And I'm just so happy that we're gonna be doing this. If you did not see the first video where I talked about all of the things that are going on with the barn, check that out first, okay? Link in the description. Horses are really hard on buildings and everybody knows that you have a lot of wear and tear when it comes to horses and you have to fix things, right? But if you get good materials and you keep up on things, it's totally manageable. But this is the reality of owning horses, okay? It's not always rainbows and butterflies. They can be destructive, not purposefully, but just because they're large animals and they like to play and sometimes, you know, they just do damage and that's just, that's just life. Looks like our dumpster just arrived too. Perfect timing. Big things happening here. <laughs> it's a big day. We're so excited. I just feel like I have to touch it. <laughs> I wonder if the white's gonna get down to go. It'll be higher. That's true. Yep. We're ready. Yeah. We are gonna be getting all new gutters around the entire barn, which will be amazing. It'll help a lot with drainage and those type of issues. So currently they're working on taking them off. Now our tractor is here. There is gonna be a lot of equipment arriving throughout the project and it's so fun to see it all come together. Everything has been going well so far today. The tractor and everything just showed up and we're sorting equipment and materials and everything's going great. All right, so it's day two and we're gonna be starting on the long side of the barn, which is also the worst side. So we're gonna be taking metal off here today. So this is one side. As you can see here, we're starting at this end and taking the metal off. Goodbye metal. And this is actually the metal that was halfway decent. You can see where it fades and where the white stuff is. So it's morning right now and we'll come back out this afternoon and see what kind of progress they're making on taking off the metal on the side. They have taken quite a bit of the metal off and as you can see, they're installing the brand new splash board. This is what it looks like from the indoor arena. So far, they are making great progress. The first pieces of metal, the first sheets are about to go up on the barn. I'm so excited. And you're gonna get to see what colors we pick.
It's really happening, horse lovers. I am beside myself. This is so exciting. I cannot wait to see the first sheets of metal up on my beautiful barn. Also, we are kissing goodbye the red color. Okay, I went for something more classic and neutral. That way, if for some reason we ever did sell the place, it's a neutral color, right? I mean, if I have a hot pink barn, if it was up to me. All right, the first piece of metal is going back on the barn. Are you excited, horse lovers? What do you think, Kyle? Looking good. Yeah. It's so exciting. I'm glad I'm not the one doing it. <laughs> So we have a few of the main color sheets up right now, and now we're doing what's called a wainscot. The reason we're gonna do a wainscot is because horses are notorious for kicking the bottom. So if you ever need to replace the metal, you can just do the bottom part. Plus, I think the two-tone color looks really good. It's a great combination. It makes the barn look overall more professional and classy. All right, horse lovers, as you can see, we went with like an offset white color and a charcoal gray for the Wayne's coat. I am so excited. I wanted to get rid of the red just because it screams outdated in my opinion. And I think this is very neutral and classy and will carry over for many years. I can't wait to see the whole barn when it's done. It's gonna look incredible. So right now they're working on the back side of the barn. They're taking off one of the sliding doors. Yeah, they'll be taking off the metal too. So she's coming along. Look how strong Brian is. Yeah, strong. <laughs> Got a lot more metal off. two days they're gonna try to knock out this backside. They did end up finding some rotten wood or I think some water was getting into the wood and there were some carpenter ants so they're gonna end up taking that wood out and replacing it. So they're finding all kinds of stuff back here. And again you can see the splashboard in some of these corners. It's starting to get rotted and pushing itself out so I'll end up replacing all that splashboard. They'll do three rows and they'll replace the purlins that are rotted. They'll put a nice new sliding door on and then all new metal siding. So, lots of work. Got most of the metal off of the back end now and there's a few rotted posts back there. So we're gonna have to replace them with the perma columns I've been talking about. Look at this, this is so crazy. Brian's the real star. Huh? I said, you're the real star. Right. Here is a view of the backside of the barn from the indoor arena. I actually think it looks really cool. You can see all the progress. That really sucks. Dang it. Whoever decided to put all of these freaking rocks around here when they did this addition on the barn is their worst nightmare. <laughs> 
this is not good. So it's gonna take a lot longer now because they have to dig out all of this stone and brick and I don't know. It is what it is though. This is just what happens when you do projects, things are gonna come up and it's not the end of the world. It's just gonna be more time consuming and more work for them. You're more and strong. <laughs> How far do you cut down on the post? Like uh, where, we what parts were like placed? Like from once where? We, once we put the new columns in, we're gonna yeah. get the new columns out of the ground about a foot. Okay, cool. Nice. Essentially, they use the tractor to actually dig the hole, but because there is so much stone, they have to dig it out by hand, but then you can see the tool on the tractor can dig as well. Now, these posts go about six feet into the ground, and you can see how tall the actual post is. But we're gonna replace the bottom of that post with actual cement, the permacolum, which I'll talk about here, and you'll see. The great part about these is cement does not rot. So we're not ever gonna have those same issues with the posts again. This is a disaster. Mm. How long are those permacolums? Are they four or five feet? Yeah. At least it's not hot right now. Hey, yeah. You're on the floor of the deck with us. So you're going to pull this with the... Or what are you doing? I'm going to pull it away from here. Cool. With the tractor. Okay, so they're going to pull this post out with the tractor. It's going to be cool. Here we go. Nice. Look at that pose. Huge. Woohoo! All right, let's look in this hole now. That's crazy. Now there's gonna be a lot of posts. So now you're just seeing one and that's where the perma column's gonna go. The dirt is down here to the footing. Okay. So I can set the perma column and bolt it in place. Awesome. <laughs> he didn't dig that hole. Don't let him go. <laughs> the tractor did. Oh boy. A lot of you were asking where the horses were gonna be during renovations. They're right here. So we have this side paddock and the back pasture that we can put them out in. So they're completely away from the building and everything that's going on. They have trees for shade. They have a trough out here. And if the weather's bad, I can still put them in the stalls. So they're still accessible right now. So yeah. But then they go, <laughs> mushy. But then they go back in the main paddock at night for now. Until they start working on this side, then they won't be able to go in the main paddock at all. Worst case scenario, I would just bring them into stalls if needed. But I mean, they're literally just out here all the time anyway, so it works. It works, you mushy. You are disgusting. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, so we're on to another hole. And guess what? It's rotted. Big surprise. They are. So what's weird about this post is the, the last four or five feet that were in the ground actually looks pretty decent. But this part right here that was, you know, close to the ground surface, just all that water coming down got this wood wet. And then I think the carpenter ants got in there. You can see this is all carpenter ants coming in there. There were a couple ants on here earlier, but it's, you know, it's not super weak yet, but it's just it will be. getting worse. So that's what the purpose of these perma columns is, is the only thing that will be touching the ground now is the concrete. All right. So we got the first perma column in and you can see, let me show you here. How that goes down isn't that awesome so then it's not going to rot like i was saying earlier but look at that isn't that wild i mean this is it's just insane the amount of work this is especially when you add in all this crazy rock and they're still gonna they're gonna dig this hole out a little bit better and they're gonna pour concrete into here to make sure that perma column is a nice steady base at the bottom all right so if you look down there at the bottom they have these metal brackets that bolt to the side that's from perma column so what that does is when you pour the concrete around 
that bracket holds it into the concrete so that this pillar can't just slide in and out. So this will be really strong when it's done and it should last a long time. Crazy. Yeah, this is a huge job. So now you understand why we hired Morton. There's no way Kyle could have done this himself. It would have taken like years. So now the focus is basically digging the holes, installing the perma columns. So that's what they're going to be working on. However, it started raining a little bit. So they're going to install this last perma column. And then some of the boys here are going to do some work inside for a little while. You can see here they're putting the door frame together. So yeah, there's always something you can do no matter what. Looks good. After lunch, it stopped raining and the sun came out. So as you can see here, all of the metal is off. They've installed a lot of the perma columns and now they're installing splashboard too. So look at how good that wood at the bottom looks now compared to before. All right, making progress out here. Getting all this metal off. Fun. I've never opened that gate before. I like that shirt. Yeah, I gotta keep grabbing them from the shop because I'm like, I, I'm the face of the business. Like, how am I gonna wear a dirty old scrubby shirt, you know? So the plan right now is to work on this side. This is the main paddock where the horses usually are. And they're working on the back side too. So the plan is to get the metal off and work on this. That way we can get the horses back in the main paddock. So they're in this side pasture. I still have stalls. I still have shelter if I need to bring them in. But luckily the weather has been beautiful. So I'm just throwing hay out there. They have grass, their water trough, shade from the trees. So they're happy, which they're out there all the time anyway. So it's going good so far. Yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> That's Hunter. So we're hoping that the two posts at the back here aren't rotted because if they are, they're going to have to tear off all of the liner that's in the indoor arena, which is going to be a pain in the butt. So we'll just see what has to happen. It is what it is and we're going to get through it no matter what. Koa is supervising everything. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you. Busy, huh? Tiring job. As you can see here, we did have to take out some of the liner in the indoor arena, the plywood, but we're only gonna have to do that back section, so that's good. We also have another crew here from Ohio that's gonna be helping out for a few days, so that's gonna be amazing. See, that's the reason why we're fixing these. I right? know. That's crazy. How was that? Well, we, we cut it. It yeah. was more together, yeah, but then when the minute we went to pull yeah, on it, it yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Look at the hook. That rotted post that we showed you, that's what's supposed to be supporting the barn. And basically, all of them are rotted at this point. So now they're working on this side, removing all of the posts, and then we're going to install the perma column. So that's what's happening now but this is a much longer section than the back part. Because they are replacing all of the perma columns at once, they have to support the barn structure. So as you can see here, these posts are put up in order to prop up the barn to keep it from basically collapsing. Oh my gosh, look at Hunter. <laughs> you are covered. They sent the young one in. <laughs> look at this, they're getting the perma columns in. Amazing. Awesome. I'm getting these perma columns in. All these posts were rotted. Hunter has the famous Bridgewater clay all over him. It's not even dirt, it's straight up clay. <laughs> so we call it here, because guess what? In the winter, where you're standing, you'd be up to your belly button in mud. Look at all that. 
Crazy. So you're gonna see one of the perma columns actually go in now, okay? So they're digging a lot of holes, they're pulling out the rotten ends of the posts, and now we're gonna put these perma columns in. And like I said, they're concrete, so they're not gonna rot. And there you have it, horse lovers. That is how you install a perma column. They did such a great job. So they basically had to dig out holes for every wood post you see there. They have to put in a perma column, basically around the entire barn. So you can imagine how much work that actually is and they are making fantastic progress. They're working very quickly and efficiently today, yet it's also very productive and professional. Okay, let's go say hi to the horses, or let me at least show them to you. Jiminy, are oh, you taking a nap? You sleeping, hi baby. So the horses are just right out here. Let me show you. So they're in that paddock and then the project's right there. So that's why they can't be in the main paddock right now because obviously the plywood's off, there's massive holes and all that. I still have access to stalls and all of that just in case something was to come up. But so far, so good. They got their grass, their round bale, their water trough, and then their shade in the back and then a salt block too. These are the main three musketeers here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a compliment. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say the main three. I feel like I've done all I can do here. All right, so right here, this was probably the worst part of the building. So here you can see the building was sagging. So what Brian's doing right now is he's actually jacking it up. He has, he's lasered the whole place and found out about how much um, each joist is sagging. Like levelness wise? Yeah, so he's going to jack it up until he gets it in spec. Wow, that's fancy. He's going to support it so that they can then replace the rotted posts. So. so yesterday the crew got a ton done, and you saw that they dug out a lot of the holes. They put in some of the perma columns. A lot of the posts are rotted, way more than we anticipated, but that's okay. I have not seen this side yet, but they are doing a lot of work over here too, so we are knocking this out. Look at all of this so far. That is amazing. Got all these columns in literally today. So once the new posts are in and they do the splashboard, then the all new metal is gonna go up. You can see that little segment went up earlier and you saw that in the beginning of the video, but yeah, I can't wait to see the new metal. It's gonna look fantastic. This is the complete opposite side of the barn that I was showing you previously. So they have installed all of these perma columns on both of the long sides. I really like how the Morton team isn't rushing the process, but they're also working efficiently and effectively too. So you can see here, all the metal is off here and look at the beautiful splashboard. So I haven't even seen this yet, the new splashboard. So we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna zoom in, give you a close up view. Look at that. So before it was just like all rotted and disgusting. And the new posts, they're all in back here. Looking awesome. And then we'll have the doors on. So we're getting all new doors and gutters, like I said. It's gonna be sweet. The whole process is fascinating and I hope you've enjoyed listening to it thus far. I hope you're learning something and that you're appreciating this entire process. All right, she's about ready to come in. This is when you know it's serious. <laughs> nice. Right now they're just putting enough concrete in the bottom so that it goes around the bottom of the post and we'll hold it in there. That way it can't lift up and it gives it a good solid base to sit on. All right, the concrete pouring is going well so far. Already got three holes filled. 
look at that. All right, so we're on the phase now. They got most of, they got half the perma columns in. They're doing every other pull right now. You can see like the next one is still missing the perma column. That's because they need to leave part of the structure up there. Actually, no, that one wasn't rotted. Oh, that's a different one. So okay. they're leaving every other one open so that they can fix the ones and then they'll alternate. They have to leave it you know, somewhat stable before they do this. So right now the concrete truck just showed up. So what they're doing is they're starting to pour concrete in the bottom of the hole and that'll give that a good base for that perma column to sit in. Then the perma column, like we showed earlier, also has those brackets on it that make it so it can't lift up. So the concrete will grab that and wrap around that. It'll just be a nice solid base for this barn. And then the guys are going around with the drill and they have an oscillating tool that vibrates it and tries to get all the air bubbles out of the concrete, making sure it just packs down nice and tight in there. That's so cool. Yeah, so now the concrete truck's gonna have to maneuver around the entire barn. They did some over here, they did some in the back, and then we have the other side of the barn they started on too. So I think it's gonna take, the, they're gonna have to have it come out a second time or maybe even the third time with the concrete truck to do the whole project. But we're making lots of progress, so this is good. That's cool. Dump it in. I have to show you the horse's reaction to the concrete truck. They do not care. <laughs> Look at them. They're so worked up from all this construction. Poor horses. So stressed out. <laughs> I'm obviously kidding. Look at Jafar. <laughs> Jafar is like. Jafar. Jafar and Olaf still are standing though. Good ponies. Look at them. Oh, you guys are so good. Every day. I'm you gotta, sorry. You check the mix on how it works now. There's a reason mine's dirtier than all these tiny new ones. Because you see too much around. Can I use your lean on something? You know? I'm good. I'd say just look at that. Yeah. All right, horse lovers, I hope you enjoyed this barn renovation update video. You got to see a lot so far. And the next video you're going to see will be the final reveal and you'll get to see the brand new exterior of the barn. I hope you're just as excited as I am. It's going to be amazing. So horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.